Hello and welcome, Barber and Esports fans. This is Mr. Kane here with Assistant Coach Ethan. We are going to go ahead and jump right into this uh, second game, actually, of Barber and High School versus Indian Lake in Overwatch. Uh, our first game, unfortunately, we were not able to get the replay data for that, so that one is not there. Uh, we're actually starting a little bit uh, at a loss here. Uh, we've got Indian Lake up on Barber, and they took the first set on Ilios, and so now we are taking a second match here on Eichenwald. We've got Mikey Brown as Yi. Saberwolf is Camlin Holmes. Pineapple King is Hunter Adair. Mango Chips is Modesty Jet Castile. And Sleepless is Alec Wietrich. Uh, the, we would normally have a sixth member, but unfortunately we were not able to get uh, all of our players in for the match today. Uh, luckily for us, the other team, Indian Lake, also was only able to get some of their players. With this year, with the pandemic the way it is, sometimes things are just a little bit harder to organize than, uh, than we would like. So uh, we both agreed that a 5v5 would be acceptable. So this, this is going to be a little different today uh, in terms of the dynamics of the match. So why don't we jump right in here? We've got a, looks like the Barberton High School, the last match they ran double tank, double healer, and one DPS, but they've swapped off here with Saberwolf as the only tank, and then instead uh, moving uh, former team captain Alec over to DPS from his typical tank role here. We've got uh, Modesty Jet Castile running captain this season. So everyone's getting ready to head out of spawn here. I think that they decided after the last match they weren't able to output the amount of damage that they wanted to break through the enemy team and decided that uh, giving up the defense... It, it didn't matter if you have all the defense in the world if you can't close out the fight. And so they, they switched it up to put more DPS focus here. Hunter Day are coming out quickly, scouting with the Echo. Odd placement from Indian Lake, all up in this side room here, looking like they want to jump down, but that also puts them vulnerable to some blast from Echo in there. Quick pick on Pushing the through. Contract. And not only that, but we've got Yi. Back cap from Yi. Forcing Pushed the other team. Winston. And now Barberton pushes in from the backside as they turn to deal with Yi. Nice cleanup by Barberton here. That monkey's not going to be long for this earth. I believe that's everyone cleaned up from the side of uh, Indian Lake. Quick cap by Barberton High School. Let's go ahead and see what kind of opposition they're running into here. E forward and scouting again. Sleepless takes a peek as well. Trading over between Sleepless and, ooh, get the pick on Picks Lucio. on the Lucio. Removing those supports is key for getting a strong push in there. Every player is so much more important in this match with a f only a 5v5. You lose one person, it makes such a bigger difference when there's so many fewer rolls out on the map. Echo putting some pressure in Yi as well. Well, the rest of the team pushes from the low ground. Pushing that card up. Ooh, a lot of damage coming out. Oh, good healing or from Modesty Jet Castile to keep up Hunter Adair there. Taking a look here. Ooh, mm. bad time to look. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Yi was able to get the finish, though. Barber looks like they're going to cap the second point without much resistance here. Enemy team's looking to come out of that hole. They really need to just be firing into that point. Just keep them back. Good push. Oh, yeah, good boot good from boot. Yi. Very nice. Hunter Dare coming back to the fight. Mango Chip's trying to survive. She did. Big push is coming in. He's, it's so far, really, the other team has not put... Indian Lake has not put up a very big defense. Bolt out of Hunter Dare here. here. Looking for that Diva Bomb to build up. It looks like Sleepless Triple already cleared move. it out. Wow, we're going to see... We're going to need to see that again at the end of this match. I'm going to roll that back again in a, in a, before the next round. Absolutely. Is Barber just going to walk this one in here? It looks like they haven't really met much opposition. This uh, monkey ult might be 
slapping them around a bit if they're not careful. And we Jump hear the t too. yeah the tire coming down. Saberwolf is not able to get away from that. But Barbin's focusing down its targets very well. Ooh, without a, a tank though. Oh, I can't believe that most of them survived that. They were able to get covered from that diva bomb. I really thought that might be the one that breaks the fight wide open here. Continuing to battle it out. The monkey bubble throwing a little bit of trouble in there. Breaking up Barberton's team. They're still fighting it out. Hunter Dare gets picked, and at this point, Indian Lake manages to start bringing their defense through. Losing one hero, even just one, makes such a big difference in these in these smaller team sizes here. Uh, Mango Chips just trying to get out. Cam offering some cover there for her friend as they escape. Mm. It's all right. Barberton's got four minutes on the clock here. Absolutely. Should be no issue whatsoever to push into this. Ultimate economy. Looks like Barbara's got the edge here as well. Close to uh, Sigma ult as well as a McCree ult. I'm going to try to get a look at uh, Sleepless here as he had a big ult before and I don't want to miss a second if he's managed to get a fire another one off. Trying to take down this D.Va. Good stun. Going for a noon. I see. He oh. wants it. He wants it. But the question is, is should he do it when he's got the, the, the bubble up there? Good restraint. Long range pick on the Moira. He finally de that D.Va. He puts the beat down. It's fine. Uh, High Noon gets one pick. That's enough. Pick on the D.Va. Every pick counts here. That monkey's not long for this world. Oh, At this point, it's just clean up. The monkey lived, though, I think. Did he live? I believe so. Yeah, their Mercy managed to pick him up. But Hunter there Adair bring, lays him low. As they're holding this last point here, they're just trying to funnel everybody or keep everybody out of that choke, but uh oh. Diva Bomb once again putting some damage out there. They've got a Hammond on the enemy team now. Hunter Dare's bomb comes down. Mm. Takes two. There is no way. They, are they, is Indian Lake going to be able to hold this off? No, they see no nine. Way. They should have stayed touching. That could have given them a few more minutes, but unfortunately, they're. Uh, Moira and Mercy went a little too far back there. Now, before we get a little bit further, I wanted to go back and look at that high noon that we missed. Um, or should we, you know, let's save it for the end. I won't forget. Let's go back now. Barbin's on the defense here. I wonder what they'll roll with, if it'll be the same as what we just saw or something different. That's the question. Seemed like uh, Indian Lake wasn't able to put up a very strong defense uh, on the first two points. The third one was a little bit tougher. But um, I'm not so much sure that that was Indian Lake's uh, strength there against Barberton so much as it might have just been a harder point to take than the other two. What are your thoughts? Mm. Ooh, much different li lineup here. Mercy Sim, Brig, and a Tracer. Yep, we got Sigma still. Wonder where they'll hold. Hmm. That last one was a very steady roll by Garberton. Yeah, they got caught up a little bit on the third point, as I said, but really I, I didn't see too much. Um, perhaps after the loss on the first map that, I, once again, I apologize, we weren't able to get footage of. Um, perhaps Barberton, uh re re-strategized, brought their heads together, and figured out a, a stronger lineup to run. So they're holding hmm. corner here. Sort a of car a, wash with the choke. Yeah, we've got those sim turrets there ready to burst down anybody that comes through. But the question is, will they go through there? Will they take a different right route? There. Sim turrets immediately destroyed. Indian Lake is already at the point. Yeah, they, they're running kind of like a divey comp, really, if you're looking at the enemy team here, at least with the monkey and the diva. Couple trades here. You trade the mech for the yi. I don't know very about this. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's it's chaos. I'm surprised Mango still bust. She just goes down to the Reaper out back. With those Several. two picks, oh, this Ooh. Reaper is getting a lot of value, oh, and it oh. looks like Barberton's not going to hold this first point. It was a valiant attempt, and with the uh, ult here, unfortunately not able to get enough value uh, as Alec dropped the uh, Sim wall. I think it was maybe a bit of a play of desperation. They thought it was a winnable fight, but um, once Reaper picked uh, their first support, and then one after another, the dominoes fell for Barberton. They got a reset here for this. Hunter Dare going for some picks again. Trying to scout out what they've got going on. Cheeky flank. Will he get out of there? Yes, looks like it. No problem. 
Hmm. Hopefully he manages those cooldowns well. Oh, switch over to... Looks like we've got the the uh, aerial superiority coming down here. With the dream team of a pocketed Farah with a Mercy here. And an Echo, too. Oh, the Echo... Sorry. That, I haven't not seen the Echo yet. Sorry. No, I, I, I would not be surprised if Hunter switches off to the Echo here, though. I think that's a move we've seen many times before. And we know that uh, the Moth strat is strong. Triple Moth. Ooh, Ooh, nice stun from Yi there. I thought that was about to be bad news for Barberton, but uh, that Reaper ulti was shut down quickly. Showing the power of Brigida. Nice rocket barrage there, cleaning up Indian Lake. Alec did pay for it with his life, but at the same time, absolutely worth it. This solo monkey is not going to do anything other than slightly tickle uh, Cam and Mango here. Monsu is dancing around the monkey. He probably would have done a better job trying to stay on cart and push it there rather than try to chase down these targets with so much more mobility and sustainability. Back Absolute to... Queso. Ooh. Ooh, nice ult coming out from Cam here. Dropping it down. Is Barbara going to be able to capitalize on that? Looks like Pineapple King going in the back line trying to get something. Yi ulting. Pushing in. Oh, Sticky Bomb Ooh. comes out as well. Looks like they're throwing a lot of ults out here. We've got three ults committed here from Barbara for this, but if it shuts them down... Nice job. Hopefully they let this monkey live for a while. May as well just stagger Indian Lake at this point. And it looks like that might be what they're going for. They're not committing super hard for this monkey. Maybe they're just going to let him walk it off. Hopefully mm. they can finish him in the last second here. No. Going for him. Mm. Maybe they let him live a little too long. Picking Here's that monkey. the echo pick. Yeah, there it is. We called the moth. It is here. Indian Lake around the right-hand side. Uh oh, Hunter might be in trouble here. Justice. I hear another ult. Some justice coming down where uh, I didn't see it, unfortunately. Barberton is retaining complete aerial superiority. And we really aren't seeing any adjustments from Indian Lake here to deal with this. They still have that McCree, but that's really it. Uh, both the, the Brigida Lucio uh, they don't really have much to answer for all that fight in the sky. Same with the um, monkey and a diva. The only thing, like I said, that they really have is the McCree. And even then, that's 1v3. Indian Lake's kind of running up against a brick wall here. Barbadon seems to have their number. They could maybe get some value here. I just, I just, they need to get some swaps. Their heroes are not set up to deal with these uh, heroes that really hey. need, like, we see, if we saw something, whoa, okay, there's Diva Diva Bomb into nothing. Uh, we really, good res coming out from Mercy here on Yi. Another Rocket Barrage coming down. Doesn't get a, uh, gets one pick, but unfortunately uh, they, uh, yeah. Lucio coming out. Yeah, they're really fighting for it here. Indian Lake's trying Ooh. to get this push here, but Barbara's got the numbers. Camelon off the map. Yeah, I think she got monkey slapped or at least monkey pushed. Lost Yi as well. But we've got Hunter Adair here on the D.Va. If they can shred that barrier, that's going to be a free ult bomb. Should at least force them off the cart if nothing else. Uh, modesty falling off the map. Uh, did they die? Uh, no. Like no, they, oh, she, yeah, she landed yeah. on the platform. Very good, very good. I was going to say, nothing more embarrassing than floating to your death. Oh, there's a monkey off the oh. edge right there. <laughs> Speaking of embarrassing... <laughs> Oh, Back speaking of embarrassing the mercy! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Man, what? I don't know. There must be Got some one. gravitational pull in this area right here. Barbara cleans up nicely, capitalizing on the mistakes of Indian Lake. A little bit of Icarus flying too close to the sun, or at least too close to that gorge on Eichenwald, that's for sure. Oh, trying to hit that nice, picking off the McCree in the back line. Monkey jumping up, trying to deal with that pharmacy, but no luck. Monkey's, monkey's not going to be able to deal with pharmacy in this case. There's there's no way. They really need to... Absolutely. Indian Lake, if they want to do anything here, they need to switch over to like a, a, a Widowmaker or something. Something to challenge these heroes in the air rather than just, you know, leaping up and tickling them with the uh, plasma rifle or whatever it is, the electrical gun. I don't know the they name did, of his primary they fire. They did switch from, from Brig to Mercy, but that's really it. Uh, as far yeah. as the rest of the comp, it's all the Hunter same. Hunter Adair going for a big ult again, hopefully. 
without the really traditional barrier tanks. Ooh, Ooh. two picks on Barberton. That was a big bomb on the other side. That was not what Barberton was hoping for. Good res from Odyssey. Yep, oh, here is Hunter's ult. Hopefully that'll pick someone, yes. Takes mm. away the enemy DPS, and their tanks are not going to be able to deal. Ooh, Justice raining from above, literally this time, shooting directly above into the Mercy. Their monkey's ulting. The Once again, the pit, the pit, <laughs> the void. Ye ulting out here, trying to brawl it out alongside Sleepless, but are they going to be able to do this? They're, it's on overtime right Barbara now, but can just stop them here. They should be fine. Ult coming out. Ooh, good shield coming up from Yi to block that, and they are Barberton not able to around. touch. Barberton gets the round. One point, Barberton. One point on Indian Lake now. Why don't we jump over to uh, that earlier three. alt, the, the triple. Yeah, three noon. Yeah, the triple three noon. noon. Let's see. I believe it was somewhere right in here. I think I just missed it. It's a little before this. Yep, I believe this is going to be on. And nice. there it is. Let's roll that back and see the slow-mo on that. Nice cleaning up. Barberton just really dominated the first two points here. Got stuck on the third one, as we said. But then they uh, I got a little nervous when Indian Lake took the first point so quickly. Um, but I think it was just a result of a chaotic brawl, uh, and then Barberton managed to hold that second point very well with a little bit of help from the, uh, what a smooth One, two, ult. and three. One, two, three, now I can count to three. Beautiful. Uh, well, with that, um, we'll go ahead and come back on our third, or sorry, not third. Yeah, I guess it is the third game of the series, the second one of this broadcast. Uh, and see if Barberton can get the next two points that they need. Because right now it is one-to-one, -one, one Indian Lake, and one on uh, Barberton High School. So let's see as we come back uh, next time for the follow-up game. All right, welcome back to game three, second one for this recording since we did not have the first. But for Barberton High School versus Indian Lake, why don't we go ahead and get this thing started Barberton's uh, opponents, Indian Lake, rolling out of the spawn here. We'll wait as our guys are, you know, let's see what the enemy team is rocking here. We've got uh, Mercy, Moira, a Bastion, luckily. A uh, they, and a Sigma. They don't know that uh, Hunter Adair is one of our uh, best, one of the best guys I've seen for quite a while, at least, on um, Genji. And Genji is a strong counter to uh, Bastion. Oh. Oh. Well, they just, once again, the Abyss uh, claims another life. Uh, not sure what happened there. Maybe they maybe they wanted to tactically reset and swap heroes. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But let's let's get over to our Barberton players. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to set up a bunker of some sort with the uh, Sigma and maybe, or maybe the Rhine alongside the Bastion. Barberton High School rolling out here. I wonder which way they're going to go. Top left, uh, bottom left, the right-hand side. Looks like they're going down the main. Trading. It looks like they've got a sizable bunker set up there. So is Barberton going to know how to break through this? My guess is y is yes. Moira's just returning. Uh, Sleepless going into the back to deal with the Moira. Barberton fighting it out here. And there goes the Moira. Yeah, Sleepless is is is. Where is he? Oh, he's running in the uh, back line. He's disrupting him. As as get now. Mercy. Yep, yep, yep. Distracts the Bastion. Enough for Hunter or Dare to get up there and finish the job. Yeah, and Hunter getting in to clean up. A little easy. bit of disruption from Sleepless. Nice work on uh, Saberwolf keeping the barriers up to protect the team. She's the lone tank right now, so very important that, that you know they keep up that defense for Barberton High School as uh, the flank was coming in from Sleepless. Once they turned to deal with him, it was just a matter of time until Hunter or Dare walked in and uh, went on to the cleanup crew. Ooh, close one there. Off the Bastion now on the other team. Looks like they're instead running a uh, More standard Reaper, Ryan. yeah. Ryan Reaper. Moira and Mercy are the same. Uh, and with Sigma. Barberton pushing in here. Ooh, that was a deep dive by Hunter. I wasn't sure if they were going to get out of there. Sleepus gets a pick, pick. Pick one, pick two, pick three, pick four. Ye and... Ye gets two. Yeah. And they're, they're, are they cleaning That's up the last? Yeah. Easy team, team kill. Yeah, absolutely. Barberton just... rolling through. 
once again just simply stroll into town here. Now the question is, looks like Alec has been doing some really nice flanking and just going in behind the enemy lines. I wonder if he'll be able to maintain this or if they're finally going to give him the respect that he deserves on this hero. Reflect <laughs> on the orb, just for style. Barberton pushing in, looks like he went for the flank, but now he's dueling it out with the enemy. Uh, with that mercy on him, he's not going to be able too much of a... Ooh! Ooh! Big boy. Yeah, we got the blade coming out here. Another, Another team, team kill. At this point, I feel like they're just showing off. They're, they're really strong on their offense right now. I'm certainly surprised. It feels like the other team, they're, they're not doing that badly, but they don't have enough damage to finish off Barberton in these brawls. I'm surprised that they didn't swap to a more, like a double DPS comp have, or something. They, they do have Hog now, uh, as well as in Orisa. They, they, did, they did also make the switch to Reaper from, uh, I believe, what it was Bastion, then, um, was it Genji? Nonetheless. Mango gets a nice res off. Yi ulting. Try to push this in and finish this game off so we can get over to the second part of the round. Sleepless Ultin getting in a quick kill. Every kill matters here, though. Hog goes down. Are they going to be able to do anything here? Looks like the answer is no. Another team kill. Another team kill. And Barberton just rolls right down. Almost five minutes on the clock for Barberton here. As they push through on Numbani here with a lot of ease. Now the question is, is what lineup are they going to go on the defense here? Because Barberton, I think, has a pretty decent offense against this team so far, but their defense did show some uh, some signs of weakness, at least initially on the last map at the first point. Will they be able to stop this point from being capped, or, or are they going to need to uh, consider like a, a, a later defense here? Mm. Who do we got coming out on Barberton? Let's take a look. Got about six seconds or so down into the abyss hopefully barbering will not make the same early game mistake as uh indian like did in the beginning so we got change uh, here looks like Yi is running on uh anna and we've also got a change alec is on junk rat here nice hero to spam out into a choke really deny uh an area of the map to the enemy team Doing some remodeling. Alex can be on strap, possibly? Looks like it. Putting up a... What's he doing? I don't know. Might be putting a sticky there, just to uh, really really okay. make that a an unfriendly uh, hallway there for the enemy team. Just laying down There's some defensive measures. Running... Oh, Diva Pineapple King. Nearly taking high ground. Yeah. They have Winston too. Moira, Reaper. They're they're still running the same kind of uh, offensive dive, uh, sort of soft dive comp that they were running before. Moira goes Moira on point four. Leaves the charge. Not usually what you want to see, and we're about to see why. <laughs> <laughs> Not very much defensive capability. From Diva that on hero. the high ground. Pineapple King in some trouble here on the top left, dealing with the monkey. He's down. Diva demacked. Are we going to see a res at all? Yep, there comes the res out from Modesty. Taking down the monkey, taking down the D.Va. Just Barberton holding strong. We're going to go from player perspective for a little bit here. Actually, let's go back a little bit. Indian Lakes Reaper is playing Metal Gear in the, in the basement. Yeah, it looks like it. Really not seeing much uh, value out of him at the moment. But uh, usually your Reaper's going to try to go for a flank or kind of get in there and duke it out with people. But instead we saw the Moira push in and then the D.Va and then it's just kind of one by one by one uh, as if they were setting up the scene for Barberton to take the point here. Okay, now we've got a bit more of a sort of standard Watch fight here. I heard Dare going in after... Ooh, have you changed his mind? Not going in on the high ground. Here, a tire coming out. No destroyed. Yeah, no value from the tire, at least no uh, kills from it. That's two picks from Hunter or Dare. Three. Will he get a fourth? This one's claimed by Sleepless, but I'm sure he was a part of that. He could get a fourth over here on this... Uh... Yep, there he goes. Nope, and a, and a rock to celebrate. By, uh, by E. That's alright, there's no steals here. Everyone's, everyone's a part of the BHS family. Always a team game. Absolutely. 
We may highlight individual plays, but the game is won and lost together. As my cat sits on my keyboard, sorry. <laughs> Indeed, Mike is not making up any switches. Uh, seems they still feel pretty confident with their current composition. They either feel confident or they're a little flustered and don't know how to adjust this. Good Matrix coming out of there from the Diva to try to eat some of the Junkrat spam. Oh, and then Hunter Dare going deep. Nano Blade. Two Look, picks. Yeah. Gets monkeyed. Is this Overwatch or Sekiro? Because I'm seeing a lot of sword play here. As the rest of the team finishes off uh, Reaper down here on the point. Barbara's probably feeling pretty confident now. After the first game, once again, apologies, we did not get a chance to record it. But uh, after the first game, I was a little concerned. I'm sure they were too. But at this point, um, they've got to be feeling pretty strong. They've not even given a tick on this single point. Another tire. Already, is it going to make some value? Oh, uh, once oh. again, the Moira off the cliff? Don't know how that happened. The Abyss claims yet another soul. Yes. Monkey dives taking... Oh! Indian Lake, maybe they're having some Double lag or something that's keeping the, making them make these goofy plays that are ending them in the gutter. The only play that they absolutely have control over is the heroes that they're selecting, and we really have yet to see any difference out of Indian Lake. Not to mention, look at them. They've got four out of five ultimates. Where are these ultimates? What, what, what are they? Are they trying to hold it for a perfect five-man or something? I'm just a little confused on, on, on why we're not seeing more from this offense. Here, maybe it's going to come out here. Diva Bomb coming oh. down, but it lands right in front of the shield. Two, Perfect block by uh, Cam there, or rather, ooh, that's a big ult coming out. That's a lot. Oh, of she it. almost gets off. Barbara's own uh, Cam almost gets off the lift there. That might have made the difference in that moment. Oh, is Indian Lake coming back here? Mango goes down. They did use four ultimates. I would be very surprised if, if they don't actually manage to turn the tide back in their favor after using four ultimates. The issue is... What do they have in the... Fight. Yeah, there's nothing in their tank. They're, they have nothing to push into this next point. And they needed four ultimates just to get this first point. How are they going to make it all the way over to the second one here with Barberton's defense strong? A switch to Widow from, from Alec. Can we switch to his perspective? Sure, let's see if we can get that in there. Here we are. First person? Awesome. Are we going to get any picks here? The corner. Let's see if he gets the first pick here if he chokes. Easy pick. The, <laughs> the enemy team realizes uh, sitting in the open is not the best move when you're playing Overwatch. Oh, but Alec might. Oh, nice uh, sleep from Yi. Oh, dirty, dirty. <laughs> the Reaper said no thank you. The Reaper, <laughs> said, the Reaper said no thank you. Then Yi said, hang on a minute. Why don't you take a rest real quick? And Alec tucked him into bed with a nice headshot. Brawling it out down here. Monkey slapping some folks around. Cam getting dangerously close to the edge. The monkey's trying to send her out. I wish the team would go give her a hand. Oh, Barberton gets picked again, though. They've got the they've got the ults now to defend, but looks like this might go to the third point. Maybe Barberton uh, is a little shaken after that. Those ultimates, they're shaking in their boots from those four ults that got dropped. Hmm. Barberton switches off of the Whittle, losing the Whittle ultimate. Uh, Barberton is now back to two ultimates. Uh, al almost on par with uh, Indian Lake right now. Yeah. Ye in here. Another Once again, nap time. Oh. oh, and time for a blade out of Hunter Adair. Going through, chopping them up left and right. Lucio coming out from Indian Lake. Wow, as they just destroy under that. I don't even know if they needed the nano blade there. It might have been, I know the nano blade is the sure thing, but I feel like Barberton probably could make it without it. But I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they, they maybe they felt a little nervous after that second point was taken so quickly. Hmm. I Ult ultimate economy is still I think some power on both sides. Right, go on ahead. Although the Widowmaker was a good choice. I think the issue is is that because they have such a uh, mobile group with the Monkey, the Diva, even the Reaper to an extent on the enemy team, uh, that they are able to close the distance and get in on this Sniper without her getting as much value as they would against a softer set of targets. Indian Lake hanging out in this room. Battle between Yi and... Oh, he goes down. Mm. Yi and the Reaper over there. He's kind of cut off from the team. 
Farmer should maybe play up a little bit closer to this corner. The enemy team mm. acting like an ultimate battery for Sleepless here. I'm thinking we're about to see... Oh, big Diva Bomb coming down. Oh, that picks two here. I heard Barbara the Justice go out. Yeah, they might not be Barbara's able to get here. this. Mm. Barbara should be about equal right now. Oh, coming out. coming out. Just grabs one. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be enough. That might still be enough. Good shield coming out to block. Brings up a bit of temporary HP. Unfortunately, that Reaper clearing the way. Oh, no. Barberton with that ult coming down looks like we're going to have to go to another round. At the same time, it is five minutes versus but a single minute. I, I would be very surprised if, uh, if any like able to turn this around on Barberton. Uh, we we the map. can't be too careful though. Barberton had the, it looked so strong for Barberton on that first point, and then suddenly it just all started to fall apart. I think that they're they're swipping they're swapping between heroes. A lot of times they were throwing ults that weren't fully connecting. Or I know that uh, in that last one, Sleepless went for a rocket barrage somewhere in this area. He's a little hard to follow sometimes uh, in the camera. But I know that he got he suddenly had ult charge. It, he used it and then he died. So I think that he was unable to get that rocket barrage to connect there. So Maybe it's a bit more uh, trying to protect the heroes when they're getting those ultimates out. Maybe uh, better usage on them. I, I'm not sure. We don't need to go for the big team clearing ultimates here. We just need to grab one or two and then clean up with the remainder. Looks like Indian Lake has the first push here. They got a minute. Is Barbara running a bunker comp? Uh, looks like it. We got Sleepless on Bastion. So let's see how they're set up over here. Oh, Genji from Hunter or Dare. Sleepless, looks like he's setting up in this small room here, having the rest of the team directing them to set up as normal. He's hiding the bash until the last possible minute when the bolt hose turns on and sprays Indian Lake, hopefully removing them from the point if they should get that far. Brigida, a nice choice here as they might get a little brawly. That's some cheeky positioning. Oh, absolutely. Bastion. I don't shield, but maybe for later. I think they're hoping to maybe pull back on point here. Indian Lake taking the high ground. They still do not know this Bastion is here. Bastion repositioning. Sleepless starting to hose him down. The hose is on. While Barton brawls it out, they've realized, uh oh, there's a Bastion here. But it's too late. They try to they walk right into the hose, and I don't know about you guys, but that's never a good move. Don't try to uh, stare down a fire hose. It's uh, never going to turn out good for you. Absolutely. Mm. It's Ten seconds? There's, there's no way that they're going to get a tick on this at this point. The, even the fastest heroes, speed boosted, aren't going to be able to make it out to this point in time to do really anything at all. Diva, maybe? Maybe with the ball, but even then. Oh, oh they got there. The I spoke too soon, but once again, as I said before, yeah. you don't walk into the hose. Not to mention the rest of Barberton's team. I don't mean to say that uh, a celebratory tank here. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Congratulations on that. Now, the thing is, Barberton just needs one tick in five minutes here to get this map. Then it'll be two to one in Barberton's favor for the overall. In addition, Barberton literally cannot lose this round. It is. It will either be a draw or a win. Oh, I see. So when when neither team is capped, uh, if both end up you know having an equal amount here, it'll just be a draw, and then we might really need to go to a five-game set. Well, we would Absolutely. have to at that point. So let's see what would it Indian be a Lake is set? running. Uh, no, I believe it would just be a draw. It would have to go in as a draw. Hmm. Let's see what Indian Lake is running here. Are they going to run a Bastion again? No, this time it looks like they've got a Symmetra. We've we've seen the power of Sim more recently in some of Barberton's other matches. So is Indian Lake going to be able to capitalize on this hero who's really, you know, with those turrets, uh, able to get a lot of value if the enemy team isn't very keen on their placements? Uh, interesting spread. Is You feel it's better to have the Sim turrets cover one place really well or be a little bit more spread around? Looks like they're trying to do a one one everywhere. Each of the main uh, avenues is kind of I would covered. probably argue it's better to just pick one one spot and put all three cards there. Yep, uh, just deny that zone entirely and then focus your efforts elsewhere. Barberton rolls it out. Where are they going this time? Main? 
No, it looks like they're, on, oh, look, they're split. Pineapple King right down the middle. Go on aggro. He's oh, just he's on there. Are they not even paying attention to him? I'm confused here. All right, now they're brawling out. That was a little Here's weird. From, from Barberton. Sleepless uh, in the back line, ooh. spraying away. Gets a quick pick on, on the Reaper. back line. Yi goes down. Rez coming up. Ooh. Oof. No, they're not going to get it on this first push, that's for sure. That was very quickly turned into Indian Link's favor. It, it looked good for a moment as, uh, you know, we had a quick pick on the, uh, I think it was the Reaper. Zarya. Oh, no, it was the Reaper. Sorry, sorry. Uh, from Alec going up the top and, and dropping behind them. But we really didn't see a lot of follow-up there. Now Barbara's running in together this time. Maybe not as spread as last time. Last time it was a little strange the way they pushed out there. Alright, there's going to aggro. Looking for a pick, but didn't find too much there. Saber Wolf already gets the pick off on the Moira. E up top, sleepless in the back. Takes down the Mercy with the help of Pineapple King. Saber Wolf tucking Ooh. the rocks, and this should be an easy tick for Barberton, and this is going to be the map. You celebratory the win. spin. Very nice. Very good. Can we go back to that, uh, that the last push? Teleport? No, uh, the, the Reaper teleport. Uh, I'm not sure out. from uh, the Reaper on the other team? Yes. Uh, when the Reaper teleported in front of the Widow, got slapped and headshot. Oh, sure, sure, sure. That was... Uh... As I... I believe he, he said no thank you. Uh, in chat? Using, yeah, using the, the in-game voice, uh, voice function. <laughs> uh, that may be the case. I'll have to take a look at that. We'll just have to see. So let's see. That was... Somewhere around here, I want to say. Yep, still going forward. So let me fly us around a bit here and see. It was right around here. I think I might have missed it. I think you uh, went a bit too far ahead. Yeah, let's go back a bit. Just for the fun. It was, it was a very cheeky play. All right. So why don't we run this here? So, yep, here's the sniper. Getting ready to pick the Moira as they ride around the corner. Uh, this kind of reminds me of... Uh, the grassy knoll right here as we're waiting from American history class. Oh, there, and there it the is. Moira. There goes the Moira. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper teleports Reaper. right up in the corner here. He gets left. He's here to back him up. I did hear the no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. There it was. Yeah, there it was. Now, I actually wanted to look at the very last moments of the fight here on uh, this point here. I wanted to slow it down a bit. Uh, I think it was when Barberton pushes up through the top here. Uh, so let me drop the, this down to half speed here. I really wanted to see what was going on a bit more clearly from a different angle here. What's their Moira doing up there? This Moira is putting a lot of faith in their Zarya bubble and quickly goes down. I wondered why they were doing up there. I think that was maybe a big mistake out of Indian Lake. Barberton's flexing long range here. Absolutely. All they got to do is tap at them now. I mean, they're down one healer. As Alec just bodies that behind. mercy. At this point, they're just going to walk it in. Charlie Brown coming out from uh, Saber Wolf there, dropping the rock on. Two rapid picks. Three rapid picks. Yeah, that was just very clean. I think it all stemmed from that Moira being really out of position over here. I'm not sure what they were doing. Maybe they wanted to Absolutely. throw a, an orb down the hall or something and put faith in their Zarya's defense there, but it was. It was not enough. Let's get to the uh, uh, fourth map here. We'll see if we have to go to a fifth or not. If Barberton wins the next one, this will be Barberton's first win of the season here against Indian Lake. It's looking pretty good for them, but we can't be too confident. Um, they did, you know, Indian Lake did take the first map uh, on Ilios, and then uh, Barberton had a couple close calls, uh, managing to bring it back pretty strongly in the end. But we should never assume uh, that an opponent is just going to lie down and take it uh, as Barberton beats them into submission here. It, it's it's nothing like that. Uh, it's it, it could be anybody's game still. So we'll join you again here in a moment or two. Welcome to the fourth game of the series here against Indian Lake. Uh, Barbara Esports fans, obviously, once again, we did not have the first of the four games available to record. Uh, but uh, we have this one and potentially a fifth if Barbara can't close it out here. So why don't we get started and see what's going on. Uh, Yi's been favoring this Brigida a lot today. It's, been, it's really been paying off. Usually that's not a hero we see from them. 
uh, as often, but they've really gotten a lot of value out of that today. Hmm. Let's see what the uh, Indian Lake team has to work with here. Are they got to no, run Risa another base and a monkey. Well, we can see for sure that they definitely favor the Winston on Indian Lake. I don't think they've gone a single offense or defense without a Winston. Maybe, maybe Lucio once. Uh, yeah, Lucio another another strong pick. Um, I think they've swapped the Moira off maybe once, but it looks like they've got a few players who are pretty fixed in their hero comps, which is not necessarily bad the, uh, if they're, you know, absolutely cracked on the heroes. But a lot of the time, you know, the Overwatch is a kind of a fancy game of rock, paper, scissors. And in this case, uh, the question is, is, have they brought the right tool for the job? Barbara pushing up, still uh, running the double DPS, double support. Solo tank. Rock coming up, not connecting, but just uh, breaking down the barrier a little bit more. It's not Reaver. Oh, Reaver's on. Oh! Oh, good pick from uh, Sleepless here. Where's he sniping from? Leaving the train? Yep. He's oh, in the back the line there. Oh, almost connects there. Let's take a few, a, a little bit longer look here. Nice, some body shots. Almost picks the Eraser. She's got the Fortify up right now, though, so it's really not doing as much damage as, as he would like, I'm sure. Pick on Pineapple King, but a res coming out from Mango. She's always there with the reses, helping her team out. Another pick off of Sleepless onto the Moira without some heals. It's a good time for Barbara to push in on this. Pineapple King takes down the tank, and now it looks like it's just cleanup time. 5v3 is never going to go your way in Overwatch, at least unless you've got some ultimates in your pocket, and there's really none to speak of on anybody on the field right now, at least in, in, on uh, Indian Lake. Will I get the Winston? Nope, not chasing. Indian Lake going to contest. Opting to let him walk away. Yee a little deep here. Looks like he was uh, messing Left around tunnel. with the monkey. Whittle coming up from Barberton. There goes the uh, monkey. Yeah, he tried to go in touch, but it's not happening. No monkey touches today. Oh, Yi does go down there, unfortunately. Will there be enough? Uh, does Mango have a res for this? With that Reaper down there, I don't know if uh, she's ready to there go would, for it. There wouldn't really be a reason to, as the the point's just beginning. Uh, That's true. May as well save that cooldown. Pushing in. Pineapple King things. putting down some barriers. Riding the cart. Just get Sleepless <laughs> is once again the bullet hose. Sleepless is still alive. His support's doing an amazing job keeping him up and alive in there. As he just is, I, I don't know if the enemy team ignored him or just couldn't get through the heals. Playing World of Tanks here. Hopefully that that victory flag on his skin is uh is going to be true to uh, the outcome of the match. I hope so. There's a Reaper up there. I don't know if they've scouted it out yet. He does have ult, so I'm sure he's looking for a drop down. Looks like the way they're looking, they're they're watching for him. It may already be called out. Hunter Adair is probably going to see it now if they haven't already called it. He's Looks like they're just dealing with him now versus waiting for him to drop on the team. Oh. There, there it is. But he heals through. Oh. Unable to continue to live. Barberton does get picked there. They, they, were, they were watching. They were trying to stay ready for it, but... Uh, either didn't give the Reaper enough attention or maybe didn't give Indian Lake enough respect there to think that they were going to be able to connect it. And so, Barberton does have to reset here. Barberton is switching, not switching the Bastion. They're staying in the same comp. They have three ultimates versus uh, Indian Lake's one. And Indian Lake's nowhere near building up another. A little bit of aerial power at? coming in. The Bastion looks like he's in tank mode over on the other side. Quick There's hop up. Jumps. Trying to just lay some flak down, it looks like, as they press in. I don't know if the ult was really even needed there. Bit of a waste of ult, I, th I would say. Oh. Running for their life, but Pineapple King taking care of the enemy DPS. And now we've got a hog, yeah, too. Hook comes out, but did not connect. Clean up now. Just be a Risa. Barbara should be Tomorrow saving ultimates here. Oh, there, that, that Risa is down for the count. Once again, very similar to previous matches from Barberton. Just uh, a close to constant roll. Yeah, there's a little hiccup here and there, but when they reset, they reset and come back better. Build back better, you know. They are ready uh, to make those adjustments 
or make those Gold strategies, so strategy changes. Um, they're also not, you know, hurling ultimates out with wanton abandon. They're really trying to conserve and play smart here. I'm not sure what that Mercy was thinking, but she was instantly hosed down. She must have been a little hot, thinking it was almost summertime, but we're still in spring break. It's not time to be taking a bath with the hose. Alec pushing up here with his ultimate, firing off some volleys into the enemy team. Is he going to be able to walk that off now, though, is the question. Bongo coming down. Oh, and he goes down, the Reaper in his face. And then from behind, enemy Moira. A flank, flank call lessons. Not Amazing. something you see every day. This Moira is very aggressive on the enemy team. I'm feeling a lot more like a DPS than a healer at times, based on their positioning. But so this, in this case, it paid off. Uh, Barbara was not expecting that ultimate from the back line, and now they're just. I think they're finally starting to disengage here. I think they realize, you know, we could battle it out here, but really staggering ourselves. So they make the wise move, uh, Hunter and Mango, to retreat here. A little bit of a battle with the Reaper here, he wraiths out. Oh, look over there. Ult coming up. Hang on a second. Is Sleepless playing Fortunate Son? He is. He's riding the train. It is looking like a scene out of Apocalypse Now as he rides in on this uh, wagon here. Beautiful. And they are not responding to him at all. I don't think they know he's up there. I think they're just wondering. What, you know, they're just he they hear the music, but they, they don't see the 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 fire here. Can they push in now? Less of advantage. Oh, he's rolling. He's riding it back. He's riding it back for a better vantage point. There he goes. Not to discount um, the rest amazing. of the team. Not to discount the rest of the team's uh, push there, but that was uh, a pretty cheeky play that Indian Lake apparently just. Uh, once again, taking a bath from the hose. That was quite the last fight. Wow, I am, I am safe. I, I think it is safe to say that the Barberton has really made a few outstanding plays that really, really show their creative, really just strategy and team ability. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a big thing we're seeing here. Uh, Indian Lake. Uh, they've had a few kind of, you know, mistakes here and there, but uh, they really aren't being very creative with their solutions to Barbara here. They're really just running their same comp into a brick wall again and again and hoping that this time they'll just barely be able to outplay Barberton, where Barberton is using the map, they're using their heroes, they're using their teamwork, and coming up with good strategies. Uh, you know, they're not just yeeting their ults all at once. They're, they're holding them. They're, they're using tactical reses. They're doing everything right. Um, and not only that, but they're, they've they adjusted from the first map, which, once again, we didn't record, but the first map, I know that they ran double tank instead of double DPS in this weird 5v5 comp, and they realized that double tank isn't getting it. Uh, and perhaps if Indian Lake would, would swap it up, they'd be better, but they're just not swapping. What was that on Hunter? Oh, he's on the Widow this time. First nice person? skin. Is that mm -hmm. the StarCraft skin? Looks like. I believe it's uh, the, the Venom skin, actually. Oh, looks like mm -hmm. uh, the Queen of Blades. A little bit. But I think you are right. I believe uh, the StarCraft skin was a was Halloween a Kerrigan skin, I believe. Ah, uh, you're, right, you're right. Yeah. So, Hunter, oh, goes down. Reaper in his face. Uh, wanting to get some play in on that sniper, but uh, not one of his main heroes, and perhaps it shows there as he goes down. Barberton kind of getting rolled here on this first point. Sleepless trying to stall out a little bit but right now he's just going to be staggered oh he tried to get up on top and walk it off but unfortunately uh he is taking a nap unlucky is barbara going to contest this or are they just going to let the first point go that's they the have question one more good fight here i don't think they'll give it up mm. looks to be the case too oh that moira looks like she's about to yep there Ooh. she goes Took a bath in some plasma there. Not a good move. Barbara going once again with the air superiority. Hunter Dare back on the echo here. Uh, the monkey is getting some... Okay. Thought they were going to get a pick behind the, the uh, sign there. Yi gets a pick on the Reaper. Sleepless. Knocking down the monkey. Diva D mech. They should stagger her for sure. That diva has no value. Maybe get a pick on this Moira. 
Looks like they are gonna pick this Moira. I don't. I can't see the Moira walking away here. Yeah, that's a dead Moira. Super aggressive Moira. And now that Moira is gonna have to wait to respawn, leaving their team in a five v four. Terrible move by the Moira. They needed to get out. They, they, Indian Lake does not know when to back out. Sometimes the best move is to just die quickly, and not try to stick the it out. Back, but the fight's already begun. Their Reaper's almost down here. Yi using an ult to kind of let the uh, push go. A lot it's of ults coming noon. out. Yeah, double high. noon. That was a lot of ults from Barbarin though. Barbarin, oh. Yi pushing uh, in. Oh, that's gonna. Yeah, I mean, he was already in his ult, so. Uh, I think that they may have overcommitted their ulcer. We were just praising them on their conservative use of ult economy, and now uh, it's it's a spending spree here. Ult charge for everybody. Hmm. Hopefully, Marvin can still hold it well. Although I'm not sure. That's a strong push in there. Uh, uh, Monkey's already, taking a plasma bath. Oh, I was blocked by Diva. Two ults with. Uh, that's ult gonna hurt. Yep, they were not able to get the cover. Modesty gets, gets the res. Nice work. Oh, Modesty nah. gets picked, though, by the D.Va. Cam trying to hold it as long as she can. Pineapple King, yep. Smart move here is to die. Maybe buy a little bit more time on the cart, if, if anything. But honestly, they weren't even pushing it at that moment. So best thing to do is die, reset. It looks like Barbin's going to have to go for the second point defense here. Any swaps on Barbara in here? Looks like uh, still pretty much the same. Same all, same all. Yeah. Uh, same as the last point, at least. I guess we don't have the... Uh, Sleepus was a little for a little while on the... Uh, oh, look at that teleport up behind. Did he get it that off? No, Sleepus picked him. Um, Indian, Indian Lake still has better ult economy, although Barbara isn't very far behind. Looking at the ults, though, I think Barbarin has the better ones here. Since they can be used from range, all the other two need to be placed a bit more tactically, at least in regards to Reaper. Uh, their Moira ult now, though, that is something that is a bit more value. And then I think that... here are they. Oh, here they go, coming in. That oh. Reaper is looking to drop. Is Barbarin going to respond to him? I think that... Nope. Is he moving on ult here? Yep, there it is. On a, on a single... Uh, barrier reaper. comes down a little too late. Maybe the cooldown wasn't quite right there. Rez coming up. Rez. Nice. Cam back in the fight. Diva ult from Hunter Adair copying in. We've seen some great copies here. Really forces the enemy team to reposition. Doesn't always get the picks. Is he? Did he get two? I'm a little like confused. I'm getting a little confused on how he built that up quite so quickly. I feel like I'm seeing Ooh, ults, ults on top of ults on top of ults for Diva bombs here. What the heck is going on? Lots of, <laughs> lots of Diva bombs. Honestly, this fight. Uh, Kree got a single pick with his noon also. Uh, Barbin did lose the Arisa. Mango running the Mercy ult to try to keep everybody up in this extended fight here. Seems to be a fight happening in the back line that we missed. She goes to the res, gets it off for Pineapple King, but gives up her Risky own life. Is it worth it? Let's see if Pineapple can deliver here. I would say so. He goes off the, uh, the Briggle. Just to finish things off. For the lost mercy. Yeah. All they've got is this one. Oh no, oh, <laughs> the Moira. Oh, oh the Moira oh. is still deep. What were they emoting? What was that? It looked like they resigned themselves I to death there. They were, uh, they were, they were crouching, uh, possibly for mercy. Perhaps. Although there was a mercy on Barbadan's team, there is no mercy here. <laughs> That's right. We see uh, a lot of a lot of time. Indian Lake has has heroes or players that are staying up. When the rest of the team is dead or backed up, who want to maybe stay for the future, but Barbin spots him and, and is able to capitalize on the, that hero that's then making themselves into a, a 5v1 position. So with Saberwolf down here, she's on the Sigma now. It's high noon. Any picks? Rez comes up, Saberwolf no. back up. Manages to de-mech. Not able to get the pick, though. That bubble really throwing a, a wrench in Hunter Adair's plan as he goes down. Looks like we're going to a third point here, unless somebody's going to get down and drop on this. 15 seconds. They might try to take another s a few seconds on this. I'm not sure. You thinking about it? Oh, he goes out. Oh, he goes down quickly though, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, if the rest of the team had gone with him there, that might have been the play. Hey, when in Overwatch, if you do the wrong thing, if you do the wrong thing together, it becomes the right thing. That might have been a 
needed to be all or none. But instead, we kind of got a bit of a weird, uh, slight stagger out of Barber in here, which really just is going to allow them a few extra seconds on this push. Minute and 15. Will Barberton hold it? Barberton's ult economy compared to Indian Lake is not quite good. honestly horrid. Uh, Indian Lake almost has a golden five, usually a golden six, but in this case a golden five. Uh, Meanwhile, Barberton has none. Question is, is how are they going to use it? He's all about a one. Next fight, Barberton's absolutely going to get it if there even is a next fight. But nonetheless, we're rolling at 100. Dare goes down. Not able to get enough support Ooh, from his healers nice deep there. Stun. That was a good stun, but this He's bomb. In. Oh. Saber Wolf had the shield up, but it oh, nice heal from Modesty. Marvin is down two once again. Reaper ult coming out. Down three. Down four. Mango Chips is still holding on, but I don't know if uh, uh, Mercy's really going to be able to keep alive here. Oh, staying up. She has her ultimate here. Is she going to stay Is she going to use it, though? Oh, she does. Ooh, good health back. Barbarin's finally respawned. Uh, the majority of, of Shaker, uh, not Shaker Heights, sorry. Um, Indi Another Indi res out Heights. from Modesty. Ooh. Nice ult coming out from Cam. Dropping him down. Can Barbarin finish him off now? Keep him from getting is this Barbarin final point. It around? How is this Mercy staying alive through all this? She's, oh, there we go. Oh, no, she's still up. What is this? This is some God-tier Mercy play. Truly an angel from on high here for BHS. It's like Some it's like she's jump. got invulnerability or something. I I cannot believe. She's being hard. Uh, oh oh. Oh, uh, finally goes down. Finally. Gosh. Oh. Uh, great defense there. That was a very good run. And this fight's been going on for what a, a minute, two minutes now. Absolutely. Barbara going in, touching, overtime. trying to do as best they can, but all of Indian Lake is here. It's just brawling it out. Need some brawly heroes. That ult coming up from the Reaper Ooh. gonna get some huge value. I don't know that Sleepless is gonna be able to hold this here. His team might respawn and get out there. Rez coming out from Mango. Oh no! Mango gets oh. blown up. She was going for the Rez, then she realized it too, too late. She had to get out of there. What an awesome last fight. That 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 Mercy play, top tier. Absolutely. Such good health pack usage. Really forcing the enemy team to chase her down and commit. Just endless resources for the kill. Yeah, we've got um, we've got not too much more. I mean, they've got a minute. On uh, Barbara has almost three times that though. Exactly, but we remember how they were able to roll through some of these points very quickly. If Barbara gets caught in one of those rolls, it might start to spiral out of their favor and into the favor of Indian Lake. So this match could go either way. However, if Barbara can't get this last point, there's still game five. It'll be 2-2 two to two then. Remember, Indian Lake has one. Barberton has two at this point. Whoever takes this map, if it's Barberton, that'll end the series. Otherwise, we go to game five. Looks like, once again, we're seeing the same lineup out of uh, Indian Lake. Pharmacy coming from uh, Barberton. Yeah, Alec on the uh, Farah here. And then we We've got Pineapple King on uh, McCree. McCree. We don't see him on McCree very often, but I'm excited to see it this game. Route 66 feels very appropriate for the uh, American hero there. It's always hiding somewhere in the world. Absolutely right. Rocket spam coming down. Ye deep scouting. Ye. <laughs> ah, he scouted what they had. Is he going to walk it off? Yeah, he's walking that off. No problem. Barbara is still is technically running triple moths with Yi in the sky right there. Yeah, I think he was going for a scout on the uh, a team, let him know what was coming out if they needed to worry about any swap-ups. But you know what? I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't think they need to worry about this enemy team swapping. Uh oh, Barbara losing Ooh. some heroes early on in this fight. Barberton does have very little ground heals in the form of the Lucio. Also, with the Lucio scouting up so far like that, they're they're not going to have uh, him there quite in the beginning to heal any poke damage coming out. Uh, it was, wasn't really very much poking, really, to begin with. Looks like, though, Barberton might not be able to get back out here. I don't know. Hunter Dare trying to get out, maybe see if they want to push and fight this. Are they going to drop? You going in, he's dropped. He's a little ahead of the rest of the team. Mercy here to help him out. 
Top him off as the rest of Barberton starts to come together. One pick on the Winston from Barberton. Ooh. Nice alt coming down. Barberton Every pick one. matters here. Every pick matters. It's overtime. If they can stop them here, then they won't even have Barberton's a tick on the map. Up. They're going to clean it up, looks like, unless this Reaper plays out of his mind or Barberton uh, falls asleep at the wheel. But there it looks like Route 66, nope. Barberton is in good shape. They've got two minutes and 40 seconds to get one tick on this first point. It got a little shaky there. It looked like Indian Lake was going to start to roll in like they have before. But at this point, unless Indian Lake can put up an incredibly solid defense, this looks like it might be Barberton's game to win here. I, I'm a little nervous, though, uh, if it weren't for the fact that we have not seen a very solid defensive lineup from Indian Lake. It's gonna, their, their defense and offense look very similar. If I had to guess, I bet we're going to see a Winston. We're going to see a Diva. We're going to see a, a Moira. And then a Reaper. And then some sprinkling of other heroes in between. Well, looks like unless they have a swap, it looks like we're seeing exactly that. And Diva and Winston, I really just don't see them as that strong of defensive picks. What are your thoughts on a Deven and Winston on defense? I mean, can it can it work? Absolutely, it can. It, sometimes offense can be a, a better defense, but the issue is they need to be coordinated and be able to uh, coordinate good dives on, on the enemy team and be, be able to isolate good targets. Um, with us, with that sort of comp, uh, a defending team can really exploit any weaknesses of, of the attackers that uh, that the uh, attacking team may have. However, so far. Indian Lake has not really had much or seen much good coordination between their team. Sleepless on the uh, Hanzo here. Unusual He's not usually on DPS, so we don't always know what to expect out of him here. I almost get a pick on the Moira right off the bat there. Strong offense coming out from Pineapple King. Sleep is also chucking arrows in there. They don't have much in the way of shield, so as soon as this bubble is gone, it's open Reaper season. Reaper in the back line, Reaper in the grave, more like it. He is down. Barber needs to push with this, this pick here. Another pick on a healer. They need to just take some space here. Another fight happening in the back line on the Moira. The Moira goes down. It's just the, the D.Va and the Winston. They have no healers. This should just be a slow stagger here then at this point. If Barber can keep them, keep pounding these guys down, take out that monkey. Reaper's trickling in. What is this Reaper going to do, though? He is he, he should just wait with his team he instead. He eats an arrow for shot. breakfast. One shot. Edja. Oh, wow. Here and now Moira, Moira comes in once yeah. again in the wrong place, wrong time. She's probably going to get picked here. Yes, Pineapple King gets oh, the pick. Diva did get a pick. Diva and Mercy are here. They might be able to do something. Okay, looks more like a fight now. Looking more like a fight now. Modesty doesn't get the res. Hunter Dare, popping the Echo ulti. They need to put down these ults uh, on Indian Lake or they're going to be done. This monkey has an ult. Why is he not using it? There it is. But he uses it after his whole team's pretty much dead. At this point, they're just going to focus him and this Reaper down, and Barberton's going to take the point. Is, are, are they? I don't know. Maybe this monkey's still alive. I was surprised. He's still, he's there goes alive. the Reaper. There was the monkey, too. Monkey is gone, but... Ah, there it is. Barberton gets the match. Yep. Congratulations to Barberton there. First win of the season. We remember their very first game of the season was pretty rough. Um, the second one, coming back, they played amazing against an incredible team, Shaker Heights. Uh, weren't able to get any uh, points on the board, but made Shaker Heights fight for every single point there. Uh, today started a little rocky on Ilios, but then came back nice and solid and strong. Though I would like to see the full six-man squad. We were not able to have uh, Olivia Hemp in today or Jamont Shaver, uh, but they should be available for the next match. Uh, actually, I believe the next day that uh, Barbara is playing some matches will be a double header. Uh, they'll be playing uh, two matches back to back to make up for a match that uh, I believe was moved due to some uh, either our, te our team or their the opponent's team's spring break. So that'll be exciting to see if Barberton can handle the pressure of two back-to-back -back opponents. Um, it's going to be tough, but I think that they can do it. Um, if anything, today we saw that even with uh, without you know uh, 
Jamont, one of their more experienced players, and then uh, Liv, one of their healers, uh, they they were able to um, still run a very solid game. Um, I saw some smart plays out of Barberton, and uh, I, I'm curious how the match would have gone if Indian Lake had responded better to Barberton's pressure with some hero swaps. Um, and if, if they had an all taken, uh, maybe on Eichenwald where so many, so many heroes just went into that hole. I, I don't know what was going on there, but, uh, the pit. into the pit. Um, with that, any, any closing thoughts or anything we want to see from this game? Uh, coach Ethan here. That was such a thrilling match. I, I, I honestly think by the end of the season, this match is going to stand out in particular just for the amount of play seen from Marvin yeah, I think they had they really had a lot of uh, good showcases there. Oops, sorry about that. Phone going off in the background. I'll take care of that. Um, but uh, really, really solid overall. Um, I think that we are going to see some really, um, some really good things as the season goes on. Every match, Barbadan's showing stronger and stronger. I think you know today is a little bit of an outlier uh, simply because of the weird 5v5 format. Um, I really, you know, can't wait to see them next week on full display with the six, six-man six team again. So with that, Barberton takes the set uh, against Indian Lake, 3-1. Uh, to one. Congratulations. We will see you guys next week uh, for uh, another Overwatch match.